Uh, quick summary, Monday we had our two movement day, which we've done in the past. Um, and, and to say it's more leg focused is kind of unfair, but uh, a lot of the two movements I do are more up body with the fly press and the pullover press and the curl press. However, we did the squat calves, you did the stiff legged row, you did the squat press and the lunge curl. So there was definitely a leg component. Uh, and we had our obliques in there and we had our abs and body core. Today, we're gonna do supersetting. Now, when I grew up and got all certified and educated, uh, supersetting was two or more movements in a row involving the same muscle group. So, when I grew up, supersetting wasn't quads, hammies, and buys and tries. Now, you'll hear people say supersetting and they've developed two versions. Compound supersetting, which is what I'm referring to, is we're gonna do quads, a couple ways and you're gonna do hamstrings a couple ways and we can do chest a couple ways so when I say supersetting a it doesn't mean you go fast and B my intent is that you're doing two or more exercises in a row involving the same muscle group okay so you're gonna hear some variety when you get to your quads and hamstrings and of course when you're at the gym you might have more tools anyhow let's get to work but I'm gonna be emphasizing supersetting doesn't mean we go fast it just means you're focused on a particular muscle group, okay? So the warm-up we're gonna do, we have done before, but the first three are gonna be hamstring focused. And when you do your hamstrings, they actually are also pulling exercise. And then we're gonna do our quads, which is pushing, and then we have our abs. A basic warm-up, I don't wanna say easy or short, but a basic warm-up. And then circuit one will be chest and abs. Circuit three will be quads. Circuit four will be back and circuit five is your hamstring. So we do have a lot of work to do. Doesn't mean we go fast. When you're ready, we have done our warm-ups before. 10 stationary reverse lunges, only 10. We're gonna have the opportunity later on, this is our warm-up loop, but you remember, you're pulling yourself up. And we talked about that two weeks ago, the vertical motion, right? Pulling yourself up. And I want you to think about your hamstrings. I know you get some quads, and you should always get your glutes, right? Hips move, glutes turn on, blah, blah, blah. 10 stationary reverse lunges, 10 alternating stiff-legged deadlifts. You should definitely get more hamstrings, and remember, you want to go all the way up, so you can go all the way back down, and of course, that's safely and repetitively hamstrings pulling yourself up and remember you're gonna get other muscles too but I want your hamstrings and I'm of course not even remotely focused I'm looking at Haridi right now <laughs> when you get done you're on wide squats now you can debate pulling and pushing and that's cool but it's a lot of hips a lot of booty a lot of eyes and a lot of thighs and remember we're thinking about our hamstrings so Today, I just want to think about the muscle groups. When we do get to our chest, the benefit of chest is that you can push and pull, so you can do two types of movements for the same muscle group. 10 wide squats is supposed to be more hamstrings. We then have 10 stationary forward lunges. I want you thinking more quads. And remember, when we pull on our legs, it's a vertical pull yourself up. When you push on your legs, I always want to think about pushing yourself back to where you came from. For the most part, quads pushing yourself back versus pushing yourself up. If you have a lot of weight, that's actually not what you want to do. You're then gonna have your lateral lunges, 10 total alternating lateral lunges is a pushing exercise and of course at stationary lateral lunges whereas walking lateral lunges is actually a pulling exercise so the stationary version quads pushing and of course you're going to get other muscles and that's okay but i want you thinking quads and as you guys know you guys can always push the mute button if you ever need to Narrow squats, feet are narrow. Again, definitely in the pushing category, and I definitely want you thinking quads. If you're at the gym, you have low and narrow leg press, you have a quad extension machine, 
Today I'm actually going to show you a seated quad. Now if you're at home, all good. You can sit on the ground or a bench. You could sit on a ball, but you probably don't want to do that today. Just for sheer variety of quads. When you're done, we're going to be on the ground. So again, we're turning our brain on to supersetting. Now we have done these things, but we're doing two or more exercises in a row involving the same muscle group. Scissors. 10 scissors. We've done that before. We'll have our 10 scissors, 10 runners, 10 swimmers that we have done before. And although we are super setting, I also want you thinking about we are warming up our abs and core. You've got your mobility of your hips and your spine. And this way we're nice and warm and ready for our workout. You'll do scissors one more time later. And then you're on your runners. We'll do runners one more time later. Lots of work. I'm not worried about getting it all done. You know everything's tailored about that 45, 50 minute mark. And of course it's 10 scissors, torque, leverage, abs, 10 runners, mobility, activation, and then 10 swimmers. Whether you're on your hands and knees or on your stomach, You'll have the opportunity to do these one more time later. We have a chest superset coming up. We have a back superset. We have quads and we have hamstrings. The circuits are naturally a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter because of what we're doing. And of course, good focus. You can ignore me all you want. Sometimes I'm cool with that. I just want you thinking about our muscles correctly today. Circuit one is chest. Now, I want pushing, whether you're on a bench, ball, ground, push-ups, you're pushing, and we've done that, right? And of course, in time, we have other tools. We have bars and all those things. Your pushing chest is gonna be 25 down by five. 25, 20, 15, 10, five. And remember, you can change the angle a little bit but for your chest, you need to push your hands in front of you. There's shoulders, you do have different angles. Anyhow, your combo, which we have done, is gonna be a pulling chest, and that's gonna be your chest flies. Again, whether you lay on a bench, a ball, or a ground, your chest flies, you're gonna have a rep range of eight to 10, because I want it to be slow, and I want it to be heavy. And then we have an ab, so round one. 25 push, eight to 10 pull, and then 20 sit-ups. Did I say go fast? No. Did I say get it done? Yes. Here we go, 25 pushes. Remember, in my world, 25 reps is about 75 seconds. Well, pushing exercise can be a little bit shorter, so you need to slow your pushing exercise down. You can do chest press, whether it's a bar, dumbbell, machine, whether you're laying on a bench, ball, ground, you could be at an incline, you could be doing push-ups, you could use a TRX. Like, again, there's so many ways to push, but the moral of the story is you need to push your hands in front of you, and that is your chest. When you push your hands above you, that is your shoulders. And there's, then there's a variety of angles. Of course, days like today, we need to slow it down, do it right, be formal, be thorough. After your 25 pushes, you do wanna rest your hands for a second. Maybe you change your tools, but now you'll do dumbbell, or sorry, chest flies, whether you have a cable or dumbbells. Chest flies, eight to 10 reps. And remember, I know you guys have possibly lighter weights. I know you probably don't have a whole rack of dumbbells because they've been sold out since March 29th. But make sure you spend time on your reps. So if you have eight pound dumbbells or 50 pound dumbbells, your reps should feel similar durationally. They might be heavier and harder. 
But round one was 25 push, always eight to 10 pull, and then you have 20 sit-ups. We'll do sit-ups again later. 20 sit-ups, you'll do them later. So today I'm gonna to use the word pace. We're just gonna keep steady. I don't want you going crazy fast, but at the same time, I do want a lot of work to get done. So we gotta get these things done. Your sit-ups are gonna, or your abs, sorry, are gonna be used to rest your arms and shoulders. 20 sit-ups takes about a minute. So you're gonna get about a minute break on your chest. as you guys are doing your sit-ups mindful today we're gonna to be doing chest pushes whether you lay on the bench ball or ground whether you have dumbbells or bar or you doing push-ups on the floor or the TRX the pushing reps go down however round one and two are hard and long it gets a little short your pulling reps I don't want you to diversify too much but again you can lay on a bench ball or ground on your chest flies I will change your abs subtly. Round two is 20 on your chest pushes, eight to 10 on your chest pulls, and 20 scissors, you won't do them again today. Ready, set, go. I don't mind a little bit of pace. Don't get too far ahead of me because you're just gonna wait for me later on. And don't think going faster is better. Ooh, Chris, I got the circuit done way before you. That's, that's not really what I wanted, right? Shoulder blades, chest, taking time, pushing, 20 on your pushes. Round one and two are long. You should be burning by now because you just did round one, right? And I promise you it gets a little bit quicker because the reps go down a little bit. But round one and two, if you don't feel a burn on your chest, you're, you're, you're not there, right? We gotta get that weight up and or slow it down. Or you're like, Chris, I'm getting on my shoulders. Shoulder blades lead the way. The more your shoulder blades start the motion, shoulder blades, the less pressure you put on your shoulders and then the more chest you can use. So that's so much easier said than done. So round one should be in the books. 25 push, eight to 10 pull, 20 sit-ups. Round two, 20 push, eight to 10 pull, and then 20 sit-up scissors. You won't do sit-up scissors again today. I don't want us going fast. We have a lot of work to do, but I want us going slow. 20 sit-up scissors is round two. You won't do these again today. A week ago, or a little longer, we talked about the vertical motion on the exercises. Abs are pulling exercises. And so whenever you pull, I want you to think about going up. Pull up. And of course, there's other exercises where you don't, but on these, you're pulling up. Remember, I'm not gonna do all these reps with you, so if you get ahead of me, you are going too fast. And I'm doing about 60, 70% of these things, right? Part rhythm. The way I don't sit here and just stare at the screens. So round two, again, it's okay if you're not there. I don't want you going fast. Round three, 15 pushes, that is less. I still want you burning. Eight to 10 pulls, always eight to 10 chest flies. And then you're gonna do 20 on your reverse crunches. 15, push, eight to 10, Pull, 20 reverse crunches. 
He will do those again later. And although we are doing abs today, we're using abs as a rester for our arms. Because I learned a long time ago, you guys are so well trained, when I say rest for a minute, you all start twitching, like, rest? Like, I have to rest? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rest your chest, so we're gonna do something else, like abs. 15 chest pushes, eight to 10 chest pulls. Now, supersetting chest. I think it's easier and better for you to do the push-pull. However, you could do bar bench press, dumbbell bench press. You could do two different pushing chest exercises, but you're just going to burn and get all the other muscles you don't want to get. So personally, I think you maximize your chest when you do a push-pull combo. Remember, I want to educate you as much as you want to be educated. If you just want to push the mute button and watch and work, that's all good. 20 reverse crunches. There is the isometric version. My body is up and my legs are moving because of my abs. Notice I said my body. It's not just my head. And then there's the simple, and it's that easy, when your body is down, you're still getting your abs, but you don't isometrically contract them. So it's abs, abs, abs. Whether your body is up or your body is down. 20 reverse crunches. Breathe in, focus. Oh, it's Wednesday. It's steady. I didn't say hard. Today's gonna be a very thorough, steady workout. The last couple workouts, we finished off with a bang. There is no bang today. We are in the workout. It's steady, it's thorough, it's complete. So round three was 15 push, eight to 10 pull, 20 reverse crunches. Round four is 10 push. It's okay if you're not there. Eight to 10 pull, and then 20 runners. You won't do runners again today. Remember, don't get too far ahead of me. You're just going to wait for me at the end of the circuit. 10 push, 8 to 10 pull, 20 on your runners. Breathe. Shoulder blades always start the motion. Shoulder blades. Now, it might be hard depending on the tool you're laying on. When you lay on a ball or a, the ground, the surface area is wider, and so it can be harder to get your shoulder blades moving first. So you gotta think about it. Laying on the bench is actually easier to start with your shoulder blades. However, you'll get more motion when you lay on a bench. So kind of a catch 22. 10 push, eight to 10 on your pull, and then 20 on your runners. Runners is the elbows to knees. You're only going to do them once. We did them on our warm up. Again, on your runners, mobility of spine, crossing that body, that rotation. You can start with your legs down. So it feels like you have more motion. I like to mix mine up. Starting with my legs up, you have more rotation. You have a little more activation. However, for me, it goes to my back if I do it too much. So starting up or starting down is good for you. Make sure you're getting your abs and core, not your hips and your back, which can very easily be done. So today's uh, workout number 41 or 42, not counting a couple things. We are thorough and methodical, right? We're getting after it. When you are there, and remember, it's okay if you're not. Five on your push, last chest push. Eight to 10 on your pull, last chest pull. 20 V-ups preferred can be 20 toe touches if you need to. 
you will do them again later on. Five, push, eight to 10 on your pole, and then 20 V-ups or toe touches if you need to. There is no rush, we are thorough. We are super setting our chest. Yeah, you might feel like the burn is high today. You might feel like you have a little heart rate and a little more temperature today. Partly with what you're doing and the combos. And it was 80 degrees yesterday and it's a really warm morning. So round five, five chest push, eight to 10 chest pull, and then 20 V-ups preferred or toe touches if you need to. It's okay to mix them up as well. You'll have the opportunity to do them again. When you get done, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna go to our quads. And I want you thinking about your quads. I will show you a couple choices, but we gotta think superset versus the other thing you're gonna hear because I don't want you to mix the message on five minutes of quads. I want you to think about supersetting, but I'm gonna put a time limit on it just so we can get everything done. By the way, Dane made you all a, all a sign. He says, I love you all. Love Dane. I love school. So do I. <laughs> She's on high, high absorbency as you drive by uh, protesters uh, in City Hall, and she's high question, which is awesome. And you answer, you know, I'm trying to be as open and honest with her as possible. And, you know, it's pretty cool. She's doing a good job. All right, here is your quads. Now, I want you to get your quads the most. You're always going to get other things. So your choices on one of them, you can do stationary forward lunges, quads. You can do lateral lunges, quads. Or you can do iso quads. Everybody can see? It looks like I'm going to do a V up, but I'm going to do quad extensions. I am not doing a V up. I'm doing quad extensions. Yeah, you can be on the floor too. You just might lose a little bit, but that's not a V up. That's an isometric core quad extension. You can choose those three plus I want my narrow squats. 10 on your choice of quads. Stationary forward lunges, lateral lunges, iso quads, plus 10 quad uh, narrow squats. I would love it if you had weights. You don't have to if you don't want to. Five rounds. I'm gonna let you go at your own pace a little bit, but at 632, we're switching circuits, okay? Or even 631. Stationary forward lunges is an option. Pushing quads. Lateral lunges is an option. Pushing quads. And those seated quad extensions is an option. 10 plus 10 narrow squats. I get my narrow squats. You can do the other ones. What I don't want you to do is go fast. Keep going. It is 100 total reps, Sunshine. And I know you think I want you going quickly on your 100 reps. Okay? Julie, I want 10 of one. 10 of my narrow squats. Rest your hands if you're holding weights. Five rounds, five sets each. That's 50 reps each. That's 100 total reps. You think I want you going quickly. I don't. Super setting. Quad dynamic legs is the focus. Now at the gym, we do have a quad extension machine, which is why I showed you the ISO quads, which I'll do here in a second again. ISO quads refers to isometric core with your quad extension exercise. But remember, I want my 10 narrow squats because I'm selfish. 10 quads plus 10 narrow squats, 
five rounds. It's a lot. I do want you holding weights to the best of your ability. You can always put them down. Leon, this is not a race. I want you enjoying the moment. Please. Again, if you want to see those ISO quads, here they are again. It looks like I'm going to do a V up, but I'm not. I'm doing a quad extension. You keep your knees up. You bend and straighten your legs. We have done these at the gym. We've done these at Talking Rain. We put ankle weights on sometimes. We don't do them that much because of all the other legs that we do. Quad extensions. And you'll probably see those and hear those more as they get a couple new people coming on that have a bunch of bad knees. And of course, the reviews, or sorry, not reviews, the input you guys have given me the last couple weeks. Thank you, Sunshine and Leon, for not emailing me how you feel about your live online workouts. Super helpful. <laughs> for those of you that have given me input, it is very helpful when I can show the 62-year-old woman that a 64-year-old woman is online and feels like she's getting the workout she needs. <laughs> Throwing my jabs. <laughs> Again, we're doing quads. Stationary forward lunges is an option. Lateral lunges is an option. Those are pushing dynamic quad exercises. The iso quads is another version, not so dynamic, but there's good isometric core. But then I get my 10 narrow squats. Five rounds, five sets each, 50 reps each, 100 total reps. In about 30 seconds, I'm gonna start talking about our back circuit so we can get to it right when you get done. That doesn't mean you go fast. The back circuit will replicate our chest circuit. So numerically, it's very similar. And then you're going to finish off with the hamstrings like you're doing quads. So I'm not too worried. Stationary forward lunges, dynamic quads pushing. Lateral lunges, dynamic quads pushing. Isometric quads, pushing. Narrow squats, pushing. All quad focused. You do get other muscles. Hamstrings do turn on too, not as much. Glutes should always turn on because your hips always move the most. Your glutes should always turn on and you've got posture, core, and quads. As you're finishing up, remember, it's okay if you're not done. That was a hundred quads. And if you held weight, it slowed you down. Your back circuits, just give me one of your ears as you talk to yourself on your counting. Your back exercises, don't go yet. Bent rows is replacing your pushing. If you have a TRX, it's not bent rows, but it's still pulling and it's trap rows. That will be your 25 down by five. Don't go yet. Your lat pullovers, whether you lay on the ground or a bench or a ball, your lat pullovers are replacing your flies. Always eight to 10 reps. Can you get a 25 pound plate, please? Sorry, I meant to get a 25 pound plate. 25 pound plate. And you're gonna do three of the same abs, two of our different abs. So, round one. 25 rows, slowly, whatever position you're in. If you have a bar, dumbbells, kettlebells, it looks like this. If you have your TRX, it looks like that. 25 rows. And then you're gonna lay on something with your eight to 10 pullovers, and then you're gonna do 20 V-ups or toe touches. You won't do those again. Ready, set. Go. Now, I didn't say go fast. Human nature says, ooh, I know what to do, and I'm going to get this thing done, and I'm going to prove Chris wrong. And then you get to round three, and you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do my abs. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the numbers changed. So 
slow it down in your brain, trap rows. Your hands come from in front of you when you get your traps, whether you're on a machine, whether you're on a cable, whether you have dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, hands come from in front of you will turn on your traps. When your hands come from above you, it turns on your lats. So we are pulling on both exercises, but one is for your traps and one is for your lats. To eight to 10 pulls, this is replacing your chest flies. Now, I do empower you to slow those rows down. Your rows should be a little quicker than your pushes. Most people do them quicker by accident. So slow your rows down. Lat pullovers, like your chest flies, is a longer motion. It's a bigger motion. You have to focus on lengthening more. When you focus on lengthening, it slows you down. So round one was your 25 rows, your eight to 10 pullovers, and 20 V-ups. You won't do V-ups again today. You did them earlier. You won't do them again today. And if you need to, you can do your toe touches. So round one of the circuit was your hardest round, your longest round. Make sure you slow down round two. Again, we're being thorough, right? Complete big workouts. We're supersetting our back. Well, the benefit of your back is you have your traps and your lats are your bigger muscles. You've got a couple teres, major teres, minor spinatus muscles. You know, those are part of your back and your shoulders, right? Your shoulder girdle. So I want your traps and I want your lats. And of course, we have some abs. Round two, didn't say you have to be there. Round two is 20 on your rows, slow, eight to 10 pullovers, big, and then you're gonna lay on your stomach or you're on your hands and knees for 20 swimmers. Round two, 20 rows. Remember, you get low with your butt. You get low with your core. You stay low with your butt and core. And Harini, let those arms hang. Let your weights hang. It's not a push and pull, it's just a pull. If you have the TRX, it just changes your body position. You're still pulling. If you have a cable row or a machine row, you are still pulling with your traps. And no, I'm not referring to an erg or a rowing machine. I'm referring to a cable row or a machine row exercise. 20 pulls on your trap rows, eight to 10 pullovers, lap pullovers, if you're at the gym, you have a lat pull-down machine, if you ever need it. Your hands, when they come from above, turn on your lats more. They're supposed to turn on your lats more. Big, slow, long reps. Slow, reach, lengthen, and then contract and pull those weights above your head. And if you're magically doing lat pull downs, you're pulling it down under your chin. Pull eight to 10 reps. Round two was 20 trap rows, eight to 10 pullovers or pull downs, and then 20 swimmers, whether you're on your hands and knees Mobility, balance, coordination, or you're laying on your stomach. You can get more contraction. And I'm gonna sneak this in on you. That was a superset between all three exercises. So it doesn't, the term doesn't change when you have a third exercise. It's still considered a superset. You pulled on your trap rows, you pulled on your lap pullovers, 
and you're pulling on your swimmers, which is a back exercise. So kudos, you just did three exercises in a row involving the same muscle group. Didn't say go fast, shouldn't be huffy puffy, but I want to take a big deep breath. I know I've been yamming at you all day long. When you are ready, round three is 15 rows. I didn't say you have to be ready. When you are ready, 15 rows, eight to 10 pullovers, 20 on your reverse crunches. You won't do them again today. Get low, stay low, and row. Not with your arms, not with your hands, middle back, middle back, shoulder blades, shoulder blades on your trap rows. Remember there are different versions of rows, mostly tool based. What are you holding? Lats have different body positions. And of course machines would be needed. Lat pull downs or lat pull overs. And then you're gonna be under 20 reverse crunches. We did them earlier. You won't do them again today. Breathe. Lengthen, contract. When you focus on lengthening the exercise, which all exercises have it. This is just a long one, because you gotta focus on it so you don't blow out those shoulders, and you're gonna pull with your lats. Chest presses, push-ups, shoulder presses, right, triceps, they all have a lengthening component too. It's just a smaller motion and you're not in a vulnerable position. You can still hurt yourself, but when you do chest flies and lap pullovers, it's a longer exercise. Reverse crunches, you won't do it again today. Abs, your abs are pulling your legs up. Your abs are pulling your legs up up and I'm going to breathe and I want you to focus. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to focus. Fire day, right? So Wednesday, getting after it. Don't want to scare you, but next weekend is 4th of July weekend. Can you believe it? Next Wednesday will be July 1st, 4th of July weekend. Oh my goodness gracious. Although time is going by really slow, it's also going by really fast. <laughs> What's the phrase? Long days, short years? If you are there, it's okay if you're not, but we're almost there, you guys. 10 on your rows, 8 to 10 pullovers, 20 Russian twists. You won't do Russian twists again today. 10 rows, eight to 10 pullovers, 20 Russian twists. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Middle back, not your lower back. It supports you, right? It's holding your core together. It's letting you load up your traps and focus. Eight to 10 pullovers, we've done that before. 20 Russian twists, you won't do it again today. We're going to have a one more round, and you're going to have your hamstrings to finish off your day. Lengthen your lats. Contract your lats. Your chest really wants to help out. Your arms really want to help out. Make it a lat. Exercise. And the reason why your chest can help out is it's actually in an isometric contracted position and it can pull. 20 Russian twists, whether you have weight or not, bigger is better, slower is sexier. You guys have heard me say that at the gym 100 million times. Bigger is better, slower is sexier. 20 Russian twists. You won't do it again today. One more round, 
and then you had your hamstrings coming your way. Oh yeah. Whew. Now, pace, major factor of pace is the weight you have. And I never want you to feel like I'm penalizing you by saying this. So slow it down. I don't care if you have fives or 25s. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, five slow rows, last eight to 10 pullovers, and then we have our 20 sit-ups. We did them a while ago. You won't do them again today. Again, it doesn't matter the weight you have, time under tension. Now, there's load, right? You might have to exert, and then there's purposely slowing it down a smidge. I never need super slow. Right, we don't do a lot of eccentric motion. Five rows, last rows, last eight to 10 pullovers, last 20 sit-ups, and then we're moving on to our hamstrings, and that'll feel like earlier. Okay, that's a lie. I don't want your quads, I want your hamstrings, so it won't feel like that. <laughs> oh, sweating. It is warm and muggy today. I'm exfoliating my skin as we speak. Wait, is it exfoliating? No, that's like a, like, like, yeah, I need scrub. I'm not exfoliating, I'm sweating. Uh, 20 sit-ups, you have your 20 sit-ups to finish off your circuit. After your 20 sit-ups, we are on to our hamstrings. sit-ups. You have done 200 abs and core. Now, it wasn't the focus part of the workout equation, right? We use those abs as about a minute rest on our upper body supersets. You did 100 quads earlier, so we have 100 hamstrings coming away, and our warm-up was simple, right? Now, we've had other warm-ups, but it was meant to get you in the workouts. I wasn't too worried about injuries by not doing more of a warm-up. But you had a nice smooth warm up and we worked on our super setting today. Two or more exercises in a row involving the same muscle group. Alrighty, it's hamstring time. Stationary reverse lunges. We have done that. We talked about it on the very first exercise. Pulling, that is a choice. Alternating stiff legged deadlifts, balance, pulling. You can mix up step ups if you want to mix in step ups. We could talk about that being pulling and pushing. Today I'm going to put it in the pulling category, plus your wide squats. So I'm going to get my 10 wide squats, hamstrings. You can mix it up between stationary reverse lunges, alternating stiff legged deadlifts, or step ups. Ready, set, go. Now, take your time. We talked about it at the start of our day. Hamstrings pulling yourself up. Hamstrings pulling yourself up. Step ups again, you can asterisk that. That is pulling or pushing, but you're pulling yourself up today is your mindset. In fact, lower, heavier quads, higher is hamstrings. So you can mix it up. But I always get my 10 wide squats. Sound familiar? I want hamstrings. I would also love it if you had weights, but I would also love to win the lottery, and I would love to be giving this workout from Puerto Vallarta. Neither of those things have happened yet. Uh, so, you know, we're just gonna keep wishing, right? Hamstrings, pulling yourself up. Stiff-legged deadlifts is an option. Stationary reverse lunges is an option. If you have room, yeah, you can do walking forward lunges as an option. I didn't want to show you stability ball hamstring curls because not many people have stability balls and you would be up and down from the ground. But I always get my 10 wide squats. So 10 dynamic pulling hamstrings plus 10 wide squats hamstrings five rounds like earlier 50 reps each like earlier 
100 total reps like earlier. 200 legs today focused on quads, hamstrings, 125 chest, 125 back, but you've actually done more differently. The superset potentially can yield a little soreness, potentially, it depends on the load, right, the pace. But supersetting, you can trick your muscle into doing a lot more in a short amount of time. That is why. Again, 10 total alternating stationary reverse lunges, stiff legged deadlifts or step ups, plus 10 wide squats, five rounds, five sets each, 100 reps. Now again, I don't want you just to run and get in your car and go home, or run in the shower and go blood pool, or go sit at your desk and get to work. Spend a couple minutes cooling down, make your smoothie, drink some water, feed a baby. Like do what you gotta do for a couple minutes. That way you can let your body recover for just a little bit. Hips always move the most. Your glutes should always turn on. Your posture is always there. And then I'm only thinking hamstrings. Hamstrings. 100 total reps. Again, we've done more legs in different scenarios. I don't expect your legs to be sore after today. I'm hoping for a little bit of chest and back, depending on the weight you have. You're going to feel your legs burn more in this type of situation. But when we do those unilateral and bilateral days, that's when you get those muscles sore because of weight displacement. You guys are so used to reps when you have your quads and your hammies with your lunges and your squats. I'm not saying you're not gonna feel it, but I'm hoping we get a little bit more chest and back. Kind of the intent. Again, when you get done, just say goodbye, blow me a kiss. Don't go jump in the shower, walk to your shower, cool off, grab some water on the way. Don't go sit down at your desk and check your emails yet. Like, let your body recover. When I stop workouts like this, I want you to calmly relax. You are always more than welcome to stretch. I know I should do more, but time is always a part of the equation. Happy. Wednesday. Happy June 23rd. <laughs>